Requirements. You will need to have Blender installed as well as the two add-ons MMD tools and Unia tools. MMD tools allows the use of MMD models and motions in Blender and Unia tools offers additional features to ease the use of MMD tools. You should also know how to navigate inside the viewport in Blender and be familiar with the terminology shown here. Links and tutorials are in the description. You will also need a model, a motion and optionally a stage. Model setup. Create a new file and save the project. Please save your project regularly with Ctrl S to recover from crashes. Inside the outliner, delete everything in the scene. Select with left mouse drag and right click. Delete hierarchy or press delete. Open the sidebar by pressing N. Go to the MMD tab and find the scene setup. Import your model. In order to have the imported model in the right size, the scale should be set to 0.08, which is the default. Under model setup, assemble all. This does a few things. Assembling SDF will make sure that the SDF weights work in blend and you mesh the forms properly. Assembling bone will convert the MMD bone constraints into blender bone constraints. Assembling morph will make sure the morphs work when importing a motion. Assembling physics will allow the physics to work. Otherwise the physics will be static. Repeat these steps for your other models. Motion and physics. Select your model in the outliner. Selecting the model mesh or armature might cause problems when importing a motion. Under scene setup, import motion. In order to avoid problems with the physics, there needs to be a margin. The default is 5, but higher values can be used to avoid the physics from breaking. I personally use 60. Under scene setup, update rigid body world. To make the rigid body physics more accurate, you can increase the sub steps and iterations. Keep in mind that rigid body physics in Blender won't be better than in MMD. This means if the clothes slip through the body in MMD, it will still do so in Blender. Add a camera by pressing Ctrl A in the viewport. Select the camera and import the camera motion. This step is important. While MMD calculates physics in real time, Blender needs to calculate the physics ahead of time. This process is called baking physics. Rigid body world physics can either be baked in the scene setup or under scene properties, rigid body world cache. Make sure the start and end are set properly. Normally this is done automatically after importing a motion. Do note however, the end frame will only be overwritten when the motion is longer than the current end frame. Always save before and after baking with Control S. You can now take a look at the result. Under model setup visibility, you can hide the armature of the model or show the rigid body and joints if you're interested. If something has gone wrong, Go back to frame 1, delete the current bake, increase the iterations, maybe even import the motion again with a bigger margin and try baking again. Materials and lighting. Go to the Unia operator section. Set up render engine for Eevee. Select your model and convert materials for Eevee. There are four different views in the viewport, which can be accessed on the upright or by pressing Z. Wireframe shows the vertices and edges of the model. Solid shows the whole mesh. Turn on cavity to see the model more clearly. Material preview shows how the model looks with materials applied. Rendered shows how the model will look like in the final render under the influence of light. For the materials, use the material preview. Select the model and go to material properties. Collapse everything except MMD, Unia material and adjuster. Pick a material and change the properties to your liking. Use transparent material to see what is affected and press Ctrl C to undo the recent change. Repeat for the rest of the materials in the list. Additionally, you can change the timeline to the shading editor for more properties to play around with. Set the materials for the rest of the models. For light, change the viewport to rendering. Go to world properties and then MMD Unia lighting. Pick one of the lights and change the settings for your stage and motion. Alternatively, you can add your own lights with Ctrl A, move them with G, rotate them with R and scale them with S. You can also press X, Y or Z to move, rotate or scale on only one axis. I suggest using area light to make a three point lighting setup made up of key light, fill light and rim light. Use point lights to brighten the rest of the stage. Using just a sunlight is also an option. Option. Lastly, add a lighting probe irradiance volume with Ctrl A. Move and scale to fit the stage inside of it. If the stage is too big or open, just fit in the model and the lights. The lighting probe will be used to calculate indirect lighting. Sound and rendering. Under render properties, there are a lot of things for fine tuning. Most of the standard settings are fine and can be ignored for the beginning. Special attention should be given to sampling count can be set higher for better quality. There is however a point of diminishing returns. 16 should be enough in most cases. Indirect lighting can be calculated or rather baked here. In color management, change the look to very high contrast. This usually looks better. Feel free to save a copy of the current project and mess around with the settings. After playing around, go to the output properties. Set the desired resolution. The frame rate needs to be set to 30 fps, as that is the standard for MMD motions. Set the start and end frame. The end frame should already be set correctly after importing a motion. The start frame needs to be corrected depending on the margin you used when you imported the motions. If you use the 
margin of 60, your start frame should be 1 plus margin, so 61. If you want to render in 60 FPS, you can change the value new in time stretching to 200 and double the end frame and also the start frame. Do note that this doubles the amount of frames and therefore takes twice as long to render. To preview your video with sound, change the timeline to video sequencer. Add the sound and align it with your start frame. It should already be aligned if your current frame is set to the start frame. For the output, you have two options. Either you render directly as a video or as single pictures that are put together later on. Both approaches should take equally long, but if Blender crashes while rendering, you can just render the missing pictures in comparison to the video that needs to be completely rendered again. To render pictures, select file format JPEG with 100% quality. You can also delete pictures later on that didn't come out nicely and render only the deleted ones again after disabling override. For video, select file format FFmpeg video container MPEG4 also called MP4, output quality perceptually lossless, encoding speed slowest and audio codec MP3. Again, I discourage the direct rendering of videos. Don't forget to set your output path. Before rendering, save your project with Control S. To render, go to the top left menu under render and render animation. After rendering the pictures, create a new blend file. Switch to the compositing workspace and change the editor from compositor to video sequencer. Add your image sequence and sound. This time you do not need to align the sound as the frames already start at 1 plus margin. Under output properties, change the resolution and frame rate to that of the pictures. Set the end frame and output path. Like before with the video, for file format, select FFmpeg video, container, MPEG4, output quality, perceptually lossless, encoding speed slowest, and audio codec MP3. Press render animation again to combine the pictures into a video. Congratulations on rendering your first MND video in Blender. where to go from here and useful add-ons. If your first video went well, I suggest you invest some time in the following topics to improve the quality of your future videos. Unya has many more features which you can check out. Unya is also the person that maintains the two add-ons. There's also the MD and Blender wiki for more information about the add-ons. To get more familiar with Blender, you should watch Blender Guru's beginner donut tutorial. You don't have to watch all of them, but they will greatly increase your understanding and help you out in the long run. Eevee can look good if you set things up properly. There is however also cycles as a renderer which can look even better. Knowing what the differences are and what fits for you is important. There are dozens of things that make your video look good like lighting, materials, photorealism, etc. Understanding these concepts will help produce better results. While you can use rigid bodies, cloth simulation drastically improves the feel of your videos. When you don't know much about MMD models or want to do small edits on them, PMX editor can be a great tool but you can also also edit MMD models in Blender. There are also a few add-ons I like to use. Previewing the animation with materials is rather slow in Eevee. This is because of the normal maps of the materials. To increase the speed, this add-on changes the normal map calculation to something way faster. HDRIs are quite helpful and the easy HDRI makes it easy to add them to your project. Lily Surface Scraper allows you to quickly add materials from the internet into your project. The Node Wrangler comes with Blender and only needs to be activated under add-ons. It allows to more easily handle nodes which helps with downloaded materials. Suggested starting tutorials and everything else is linked in the description. Since I wanted to keep this video short and precise, many things had to be left out. Considering you made your first video, you will likely have many questions and problems. In order to help and answer your questions, you can either post a comment or join the MMD Blender Discord group. I would also be happy to hear your critique and suggestions for other tutorials.